What's going on everybody? So recently I got the Xbox Series S to play on my LG OLED A1. And uh, to my dismay, I realized that uh, gaming on it looked like absolute trash and I didn't know what was happening. So uh, the culprit was that I was using Dolby Vision is what I thought at the beginning. Uh, and uh, I switched over to HDR and it immediately looked a lot better. So then I did some further research and I was like, you know what? I have a Dolby Vision TV. Why am I not playing Dolby Vision? Everybody else, oh, well, not everybody else, but a lot of other people are having success with Dolby Vision. Why am I not having success? What's going on here? So uh, if you're having a hazy and a really flat Dolby Vision image when you're playing games, um, I'm going to show you the fix in this video. So first of all, I want to show you what it might look like. Um, now through the camera, you're probably not going to see it very well, but I'm going to go and uh, to the TV settings, video modes. So I pretty much have everything on. As you can see, I have allow Dolby Vision on, allow Dolby Vision for gaming. Pretty much all the settings that that you want, I have it all turned on. You know, when you first get your Xbox, why not have everything on? Uh, Xbox doesn't tell you exactly why you should turn something on or off. So when I first got the Xbox, I just turned everything on because why not? So uh, let's go back and go into, let's say, Halo Infinite. This is the one that looked pretty bad when I had this issue. So here we go. We have Dolby Vision on. Now, you can't really see it right now because you're looking through a phone screen, so it probably looks pretty good for you, but it looks pretty trashy and it is more of a neutral day, but if it um, if the sun, sun come, uh, starts coming down and uh, you get a lot of shadows and highlights, that's when it starts looking real bad. But here's what it looks like. Like I said, you can't really tell, but let's see if you can tell the difference. So if you're having this issue, if you're having hazy uh, video and or games and you're playing in Dolby Vision, uh, one fix you can, you can do is obviously switch to HDR. But I found that HDR um, doesn't actually look good, as good as Dolby Vision. I found that Dolby Vision actually, in my opinion, once I... Uh, fixed it um, actually uh, Adobe Vision actually looks better than uh, HDR so what is the culprit what is the issue I've seen another video saying that it's your Adobe Vision settings that you have to uh, put the OLED light to 50 and then you have to turn dynamic uh, uh, range on and that's not the issue that's just a band-aid all right the issue is this right here, this guy right here, this allow YCC422. That's the issue. Turn that off, all right? You, you never wanna have this on. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna help you. I don't know if it's good for your TV or not, but for my LG A1 OLED, it's terrible. So turn this off, all right? And yes, I'm not wearing pants. Turn this off. And I'm going to go back to Halo. I do have to quit it. So let me quit it real quick. I got to restart it. Then let's open it up again. And we got that Dolby Vision again. The intro still looks like trash though. Um, it's probably coded in SDR or something. All 
All right. So like I said, you can't really tell the difference here. It's it's kind of a neutral day. But I'm just saying that there is a big difference, especially when there's a lot of highlights and there's a lot of dynamic range. That's when you really see the difference. Uh, I can already see the difference a little bit, but like I said, when there's a lot of dynamic range um, uh, scenes, that's when that's when you see the issues. So there you go. That's the fix. Is you have to turn off YCC four two two. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.